is this? What am I supposed to do with this? She knows I like the red. <sighs> Welcome to Demolition Ranch. I uh, bought a bunch of Play-Doh. So I've always wondered how tough this stuff is. And people have been asking forever for me to get some ballistics gel so we can actually do some scientific tests with bullet penetration. And I was like, could do that, or I could just merge the two and we get ballistics Play-Doh. So we got Play-Doh. This is purple, which is known to be level 3A. It's better than the, uh, the blue for sure. And we have uh, 10 of these. They are three pounds each. So we have 30 pounds of Play-Doh and we're gonna line them up and shoot them with a variety of calibers to see how bulletproof Play-Doh is. I think it actually is gonna do pretty good at stopping bullets for small calibers. We'll work our way up, see how it goes. Luger? Ruger. Maybe that's why they named it Ruger, because they stole the design. We're gonna shoot this 22 long rifle first. Um, I think it's going to stop in the second. Let's find out. Wow! That made uh, more carnage than I thought. Uh, turned and went out. So it actually looks like it came out of the third and uh, traveled to the left. Okay, that did much worse than I thought it would do. Look at the exit wound. I had a feeling this might happen. We may end up having to put this all together. Let's try the nine millimeter Luger first and see how that does. Nine millimeter out of the old German Luger, and I put a new one up front. Let's see how big of a mess this makes. <laughs> Answer is, real big mess. Jeez. Plato, you are not very tough. Let's see if we can figure out what happened. So it came through here. This was a brand new one, exploded this. It really exploded this one, so I would assume maybe it went through sideways. Cut that one in half. Went into the third right there, came out of the third right here, went into the fourth right there, came out of the fourth, maybe went into the fifth. Oh, there it is, look at that. Sweet. Okay, so that one actually stayed going straight and looks like no damage to that bullet. Nice, soft medium to slow down. One, two, three, four, five, stopped in the fifth. Let's keep doing this, let's go bigger. Nine millimeter, that's what we just shot versus the 5.7. Look how tiny that little bullet is, but it's going so fast, so I think it actually should do pretty good. Nothing penetrates better than something tiny and fast. Ready? This is probably gonna throw Play-Doh everywhere. I have a feeling. Chopped the first one in half. Looks like we chopped the second one pretty good too. I see a hole in the third one right here. Looks like it might have came out. I don't know. I don't know where it went. It definitely was going through right there. We're gonna shoot one more time, five seven, because I can't find it. It for sure went through three, and I don't think it touched the fourth. Five seven, round two. Looks very similar so far. Into the third. Ooh, that one. And so it came out of the third, skimmed the side of the fourth, and looks like it took off. So, looks like nine millimeter is better at penetrating than that 5.7, which does make sense. I think the nine millimeter kind of holds its course better because it's a little heavier. The 5.7 just starts traveling. So let's try something that's faster than a nine millimeter, but about the same weight. The Auto Mag 3, you can see it has a super long barrel. This is a 115 grain nine millimeter bullet. This is a 110 grain 30 carbine. So you can see that about the same bullet weight, but this is much longer, much sleeker. This thing goes way faster, just with all the extra powder, but also a longer barrel. So let's see what some speed does to that 110 grains. Okay, 30 carbine. This one is probably going to throw some Play-Doh. This thing has such a big fireball. Uh, all right, giddy up partners. <laughs> What I can see for sure, straight through the middle of this one, and like the others before it, it made a pretty clean hole through this, but then exploded the second one. There's your exit wound, but it was probably coming out sideways because this one just exploded. 
and it came through the bottom here, it looks like. Hit the wood, bounced back up. It did come out the back of here, so it was skipping. Skipped off the wood, came out the back. Hit this thing, is possibly in here. But can we find it? This is like the hardest stuff to get through ever. Come on, I just wanna find a bullet. Could not find the bullet. So we just molded them back together. And we are going to shoot it with something bigger now. But either way, none of them are getting far. The furthest was the fifth one. We're not making it all the way through. I think they start tumbling and veering out. So if this one does that too, we'll probably put them all in a big ball. 30 carbine, 110 grain, 44 magnum, 240 grain, over twice as big. Lots of power, lots of speed. This thing's gonna blow up some Play-Doh for show. Sure. And I'm shooting it out of the Taurus Raging Hunter 44 Magnum, and I put the, uh, the new AMG UH-1 Gen 2 sight on it from Vortex. So uh, I'll be able to really reach out and shoot something far at like, yeah, three inches. Okay, 44 Mag going in to the Play-Doh. Oh, I'm just covered in Play-Doh. That one gone. This one's gone. This one looks like it went straight through it, but it was veering left, and then it looks like, oh, that's a piece right there. So it was ripping that bullet apart. That's crazy. So it was a, uh, that was a jacketed hollow point. I think that looks like lead. So it was ripping that hollow point apart. Which makes sense, that's why that one exploded so much because it probably opened up and was way bigger than a 44 caliber there when it was coming through. This looks like a piece may have gone in here. Oh yeah, here we go. That's it, oh, look how open it is too. So you can see that copper jacket on the back, but this was going through this way because it opened up that hollow point. So all the lead was hitting first. One, two, three, stopped in the fourth. I thought it would go further. 44 did not veer, went straight through. Let's go more power. All right, look at this. This is where we're shooting. Play-Doh goes all the way. Oh my gosh. Well, way back here in the woods. I mean, this is a good 20 feet away. There's Play-Doh all over the place here on this side. And then same deal over here on this side. Play-Doh, 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 Play-Doh. Big chunk of Play-Doh all the way. Holy cow, it just keeps going. Is this our furthest one? There's a little, some small pieces. Oh, there's some more right there. And we're like, yeah, 30 feet away from the Play-Doh. Ballistics gel, schmalistics gel. Who really needs that stuff when you just got Play-Doh? We formed it into a brick. We're gonna shoot it with a bigger caliber now. And I, I wanted to go ahead and do this because I figured with the other caliber we're gonna do, if we were doing it in those small little three pound sections, it would just blow up and go everywhere. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna catch it. I kinda wanted to see the nine millimeter go again before we do the big caliber. So, nine millimeter against the block of purple ballistics gel. Firing! Oh yeah, that probably went through, right? Oh yeah, straight through. That nine millimeter is really good at penetrating. It's a full metal jacket, and so it doesn't like open up and also as you saw in the other one it just kept going straight and didn't deform at all so nine millimeter popped right out the back of this all right let's blow this thing up 4570 out of a revolver this is the extreme penetrator these things are going so fast and they do so much damage 4570 for those who don't know is a rifle round uh, they use it to kill big game like play-doh and the uh, Magnum Research team put it in a BFR, a revolver. Biggest, finest revolver. Okay, here we go. The 4570 versus the Play-Doh. Firing! <laughs> Let's go check it out and see if it went through. Yep, there's the exit wound. It went through. <laughs> Come in here and investigate our kill. I mean, it just shredded it. Just shredded it. The carnage. My kids, we're so sad. 
We killed their Play-Doh. If you'd like to join the Demolition today, link in the description to get yourself some merch. What also should I do with the 30 pounds of Play-Doh that I have? Comment below. The best comment, I'll pick it and do it. It can be an Off the Ranch video, it can be a Demolition Ranch video, whatever you guys want. Thanks for watching Demolition Ranch. I love you, and I'll see you next time. Contact. That's a great idea. <laughs> what about the quad hog? Bobby?